How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Rounds back with another video. We've got more Marvel Legends today. Of course, one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite shows from the last couple years on Disney Plus. We have Moon Knight, and I know people are like, oh, it's not completely comic accurate. The show, blah blah blah, but it's okay. Like, it's an adaptation. You take the best parts, some of the okay parts, and you turn it into a show that's entertaining and accessible to everybody. Which is where this version of Moon Knight comes along. I really enjoyed the show. I can't wait to see like. Moon Knight pop up further in the MCU just like She-Hulk just like all the other Disney Plus ones but yeah Moon Knight is my second favorite Marvel character so I'm super excited to get this one so with all that being said let's take a closer look at the box then we'll get this bad boy open taking a closer look at the box you can see it says Marvel Legends series Marvel Studios Moon Knight at the bottom there with some artwork on the side and of course we do get the bath breakdown and a little blurb which we'll read in a second some more artwork on this side here and you know the figure the accessories and the open window which is oh so soon going away completely womp womp Moon Knight, clad in the ceremonial armor of Khonshu's chosen warriors throughout the centuries, Mark Spector is Moon Knight, sworn to obey Khonshu and deliver his vengeance accordingly. And there is the artwork on the side once again, and then of course it is part of a wave, the Infinity Ultron wave. As you can see, we have some of the figures already, Moon Knight, who doesn't come with a piece, we have She-Hulk, and we have Hawkeye. Might pick up these, I'm, I have them pre-ordered, but might pick up these one, two, and three at some point when they're cheaper, because they will be. Who are we kidding? But with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. Amazon sent me a slightly damaged box already, so I don't really want to ruin it. It's Moon Knight, but it is what it is. It's just going to go in the trash eventually, and there it goes. It's what. So we're just going to tear Moon Knight out of his cardboard prison because Conchu's fist needs to be roaming the streets. Oh, he's so cool. I'm so excited. We have our Fist of Khonshu Moon Knight out of the box, and he looks pretty sick, as you can see. A lot of fine detail on him, lots, lots of nice paint details, some gold accent. We've got some, like, um, ancient Egyptian, uh, what is it called? Uh, I don't remember what they're called, but those hieroglyphs, yeah, that's what they're called. We got hieroglyphs on him. We got all kinds of like wrapping detail with some gray wash, some some other details. He's a really nice figure. Like pin or joints are a little bit tight because he's pinless, and that's how they are, which is for the better in my opinion. There's a couple gripes I have with some of the articulation. Uh, no butterfly joints. Um, this bicep joint is weird a little bit, but we'll go over articulation later. I can't, I must say though, like he looks amazing. Just just look at him. He looks great. You can't really go wrong with Moon Knight, especially with the whites and the golds, and they just capture that MCU version so well here. And there is like, you know, a missing face piece, Ooh, but you know, it's not a big deal. No one's really paying attention that closely if you're just looking at your whole display. So yeah, super glad to have Moon Knight, because like I said, Love me some Moon Knight, Mark Spector. Checking out the height of our figure in the 112th scale, Moon Knight stands at like six and a half inches, which, ooh, almost knocked him over. Is a little tall for the MCU Moon Knight because Oscar Isaac is not no six foot something tall. He's like five, five nine, five ten something. He's not short, but he's not tall. So yeah, he's a little bit tall for Moon Knight, but that's okay. He's a superhero. He's supposed to be imposing and scary. So who's to say Conchu doesn't give him a couple extra inches when he's in his suit all wrapped up and ready to kick butt. Going over the accessories, you can see he has two fists in his hands currently, but he also comes with these two gripping hands, as you can see, which are used to grip his two weapons that he comes with, which also turn into one. This, uh... Moon Batarang, uh, Boomerang, I forget what they're called. Um, but yeah, these clip together and they are one big one, or you can pull them apart. If maybe, maybe they come apart again. Yeah, there they go. They come apart, and as you can see, they just kind of clasp together. So, going over the articulation, first, of course, we come to the head, and it is on that double barbell eye check. So, we get all kinds of movement side to side, forward, backwards, coming down to the torso. There is a ball peg in there, and we do get a torso cut, although the uh, sculpt of this plastic gets in the way. Shoulders come up about that far. No butterfly joints, unfortunately. 
bicep cut, but it is a flat one across, which kind of hinders the articulation and the look, in my opinion. But we do get pinless double elbows, so that's good. Uh, wrists are up down, uh, legs coming up, going down that far to the side, up about that far, back about that far. We do get a thigh cut up there, double knees, he can kick his own butt with ease. No boot cut, but we do get rockers up down, side to side. And uh, yeah, that's the articulation for our Moon Knight. But I, I gotta say again, like he's a really awesome looking figure. Like the detail, the gold, the white, the grays, it all looks really good together. And there's nice painted details in there, like that script on his legs, which is uh, small but detailed. There's like no smudging on it. They did like a really good job and like all the different textures. The boots are wrapped, you know, it's it's great. All it needs is like a black wash and it would be perfect. First up, first scale in comparison, we have our new MCU Moon Knight with our Walgreens exclusive classic all white Moon Knight. As you can see, they're pretty dang similar other than the gold accents and, uh, you know, real life initization of it, like with the MCU-ish, like, you know, making it mummy wraps and all that stuff but they still are very similar. Like Moon Knight is definitely Moon Knight. It's not mistaken for anybody else. Uh, if you know who he is, that is of course, but most people do now and I'm rambling because I just like Moon Knight and it's cool to have my comic version and my MCU version together finally because they look great together. Here he is with another comic book, uh, Moon Knight, uh, the one that is actually being re-released here pretty soon. It's the more modern version of Moon Knight from, I forget the name of the writer, but it's like a pretty, pretty big writer. I can't believe I'm blanking on his name, but he did a, a pretty recent run with Moon Knight where he's wearing this like more kind of battle armor that he's wearing there. But yeah, they're still, like I said, Moon Knight, unmistakable. It's Moon Knight. So they both look awesome together. Here he is with fellow wave mate She-Hulk, who it would be awesome to see uh, him cross paths with in the MCU. Someone who breaks the fourth wall, someone with a bunch of personalities. What could go wrong with the two of them interacting, say, in Secret Wars or whatever is going to happen? Uh, Kang Dynasty, Secret War, you know, those are the two Avengers movies coming up. So I'm sure we'll see both of them in those interacting, at least in some capacity, hopefully, because... Three favorite characters, Spider-Man, Moon Knight, She-Hulk. Those are my favorite, and they're all in the MCU, and I want to see all of them interact because no one's dead yet, at least of those three. So that works for me. And with another Infinity Ultron wave mate, Hawkeye from the Hawkeye Disney Plus show. You can see something in common here. They're all from Disney Plus, which did have a good bunch of shows come out. And I liked all of them, including Miss Marvel, Haters Be Danged, and She-Hulk. Y'all, y'all some haters, for real. Like, most of these characters have been around since before you were born. Not so much Kamala Khan, but She-Hulk definitely been around since before any of us were born that are watching this channel. Unless you're like, I don't know. 50 something at this point. Here is our Hasbro uh, Star Wars Black Series Poe Dameron with our new Moon Knight for no reason. Oh wait, it's because they're both Oscar Isaac and this one is probably a more appropriate height for him to be honest because like Moon Knight is towering above him and I feel like Star Wars is more accurate to 1 12th scale as far as like accuracy and trying to get the height go. So like this is more accurate to how tall Moon Knight would be if it was a 1 12th in the MCU, maybe a little bit taller, but yeah. For another comic book comparison, here he is with our Marvel 80th anniversary Thor, who towers above him being taller or not. Thor is bigger than him. And here is our MCU Endgame Thor, or sorry, Infinity War Thor, who is also much taller than Moon Knight. I don't know how tall Chris Hemsworth is, but I know the Thor figures in the Marvel Legends line are slightly upscaled, like Thor's bigger than everybody else, which is fine. Um, it's just not accurate. And then for a smaller MCU figure comparison, here is Tom Holland's Spider-Man from Civil War. I think that's the Civil War figure. Yeah, from the three pack, that is what that is with different hands. But yeah, he's taller than Spidey. Tom Holland's a short king. So with all of that being said, y'all, I will say the Marvel Legends MCU Disney Plus Moon Knight is totally worth it because he's totally worth it to me. I mean, just look at how sick he looks. I do have a couple of gripes with the articulation and how it breaks up the figure and the lacking 
of articulation in some areas, even though it's a brand new pinless figure, but you can't win them all. At least he looks really cool standing here with all that sweet detail. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can come back every week for my awesome content. Always doing new stuff, mostly Marvel Legends, but there is other stuff spattered here and there, like some G.I. Joe's, some Power Rangers, some Star Wars. So yeah, if you like any of that stuff, smash subscribe and stay subscribed. And of course, hit the notification bell and comment down below what you think of this figure, what you think of this wave. If you're excited to see more Moon Knight and She-Hulk and others from their Disney Plus shows in the future, because I know I sure am. Of, of course, let me know how you're doing as always. Let me know how your day is going down below. I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.